happy day to you who's watching me right now. Hello. From Boulder, Colorado. I'm sitting up on this ledge, <laughs> just tuning into the rock and just relaxing into this beautiful sunshine that's here. It's, it, it snowed six inches a couple days ago and it's been cloudy and so today is just a beautiful bright and shiny day. <laughs> and today I'm here to just tell you wherever you are, whoever you are, that everything in your life is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You know when we're growing up as children <laughs> we're very much dependent on our parents and on our caregivers because we're small <laughs> and we can't get food on our own we can't get shelter on our own and we can't really protect ourselves so we are raised uh, psychologically to be dependent on someone who's bigger and more capable <laughs> that's just the way that this human experience is <laughs> and when we grow up in that it kind of gets conditioned into us that when there's some type of threat whatever it is whenever fear comes up whenever worry comes up we look outside of ourselves for someone or something to tell us that it's going to be okay and ultimately the addictive tendencies that we all have that we all possess you know a lot of people get labeled as addicts which is never a good label because ultimately that's not something that defines anyone. We all have addictive tendencies because what those are is that they're, it's our coping mechanism to, to avoid our discomfort, to avoid facing our fears and feeling into our fears. And we look outside of ourselves when there's, you know, when there's this uncomfortable void, everyone knows it, right? We've got this, void within us it's the the human condition you know in Christianity that we call that the God-shaped hole inside all of us and of course within Christianity the the idea is very it's kind of a mental jump to try to get to peace to try to get to this inner peace that I talk about and what the jump in Christianity is is it's hey if you say a prayer and you accept Jesus into your heart and fill that void then phew, in that moment you've crossed over you know what they say is from death to life and it's a great story and it kind of would be cool if it was it could happen that quick okay but this void in us this is the existential and beautiful condition that we are all left with as a part of growing up and being dependent on parents and then as we leave home and we become adults now you know, we get stuck looking outside of ourselves to ease that comfort. You know, some people get into eating a lot because when you eat something, it releases these chemicals and hormones in your body and it gives you a temporary relief from the discomfort. Okay, other people drink alcohol, you know, just kind of numbs everything. Okay, other people get into working out and they just work out like crazy and while your heart's pumping and your blood's pumping and you're ch -ch -ch doing all that. that temporarily numbs that discomfort as well. So anything can act as a way to avoid that hole, that discomfort, you know, that worry, that feeling like it's the opposite of peace is really what it is. <laughs> and so I'm here to talk about peace and I'm here to help you on your journey. Okay, it's your journey. I can't walk it for you. Okay, your significant other can't walk it for you. Your children can't walk it for you. So the first step is taking responsibility and say, hey, I am the creator of my own experience. No one's going to fill this hole for me. We try, you know, with relationships. Oh, if I just meet the right person. <laughs> oh, if I just get that promotion. We want something to tell us everything's going to be okay. And this journey of inner peace and transformation 
It really is all about going in here to feel the feelings, okay? The mind creates stories to jump around the feelings and try to find a sense of safety and security, just like we did when we were little with mom and dad. You know, I used to have bad dreams when I was little. And I'd wake up in the night and as soon as I was scared, I would just yell, mom or dad. And usually they would come in and I go, what? what's wrong, Ryan, are you okay? And I'd tell them I had a dream and they would sit with me and comfort me tell me everything's gonna be okay and then they would go back to bed <laughs> and so it's like we're kind of left in a place where we want that we want someone to come in and tell us it's gonna be okay but this journey is about being able to console ourselves being able to comfort ourselves and once we do it more and more and more that comfort grows and that peace grows and then pretty soon that is our state because it is our natural state it's your natural state okay there are feelings unresolved feelings that are in the way between you and perfect peace perfect joy and contentment and aliveness Woo! and fun the more peace the more fun the more joy the more the more love this is all about growing love that's what we're here to do on this earth if you want to <laughs> we're here to grow love and it's here, we just need to remove the things that are in the way. And it's just unresolved emotions. That's it. Easy to understand, but not so easy to do. And now I've been working with people over the last three years to help them get into their unresolved emotions. And let me tell you something that might touch on some of your sensitivities. But I'm here to be very honest with you because I'm here to support you and help you. I'm here to act as a guide if you choose to allow me to do that. That's your choice. You're free. You're free to do whatever you want. But here's what I want to tell you, and I invite you to open up your heart and your mind as I say this, okay? I've worked with a lot of people over the years. And I would say that every single person that I worked with, when they started out in this, okay? If they're not already experiencing the peace that I'm talking about, but they want to. And that's the first step to choose it, to own it, to say, you know what, I'm not at perfect peace. You know what, I, I'm not feeling completely fulfilled. I'm not exactly where I think I can be. Just like in AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, the first step is admitting that you have a problem. And it's not really a problem in the grandest sense because you're fine just the way that you are. I don't need you to change. No one needs you to change. But the question is, da 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 da. Do you want to experience the fulfillment that you know, that you know, or hopefully you hope? Some people have lost hope and they've just decided, you know what, my life is gonna be rough all the way through. You know, maybe I had a chance back when I was young, but I wasted it. Or, you know, when that when my marriage broke up, that was that was it. And now my life is just going to be what it is. And I'm here to say, no, <laughs> everything's going to be okay. It's there for everyone. This peace, this inner peace that I'm talking about, it's there for everyone. It's there for everyone to be had. Okay? And what I like to do, what I've done in my life, is to take complex information and boil it down and to put it on a silver platter for people because I like to make things easy for others I like to help that's my purpose here on this earth and what's bringing me my fulfillment is to help people experience this peace that I have found <laughs> it's there for you to find too the feelings are the path that's what going inward means, okay? It's to feel your feelings. So here's how it works. Whenever you experience stress in your life, any kind of stress, and when I say stress, I don't just mean worry, I mean any negative emotions, okay? The mind wants to jump to some kind of solution. Blame someone else. You know, that's why we blame others because if we can blame someone else, then our mind can convince us, you know, that they're the they're the problem and if they change or if we can you know, do something to make them different then this will go away and we're putting the responsibility for our feelings on them and all those addictive tendencies that we talked about before they come out of that desire to avoid the feelings but when you experience stress it's time to console yourself 
to go inward, relax your body, find quiet, find silence. And what happens is when you experience that stress or that fear, it's almost how I experience it is it's almost like it's almost like a little water balloon gets formed right here in my heart. It's like it, it comes up and it's like my body reacts to it by going like, oh no, there's that thing, there's that thing. And you know, we worry and we start thinking about things and making plans and calling people or taking, you know, prescription medications or whatever it might be that we do as our personal way to avoid those feelings. <laughs> but what we can do, this is where it's your choice, okay? To either bypass and skip past your feelings or to go in because that's where the peace is. It's almost like a trick, this whole human experience. The thing comes up in your body and most people are numb to it. Okay, this is what I was gonna say. I've been working with people for years. And people think that they've felt their feelings, but the thing is, until you really get into them, until you know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you are into them and you are feeling them like I'm talking about, chances are you are not. And that's fine. It's just the first step. You know, I, I had to have somebody guide me into it and it was like, whoa, when it popped open, it was back in uh, November of 2011. <laughs> I was working with a business coach and we were doing a little role playing, um, role playing some conflict. And something happened where phew, my chest literally like kind of popped open and I, it just grieving started to come up. Grieving, 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 which is the greatest relief. You know, people are afraid to cry and our society kind of looks at crying as though it's weak or it's weird, but no, it is the path to release. It is the body's way of releasing. It's kind of like when your computer has a virus and it gets all mucked up and it starts to slow down and pretty soon you're like, you know what, maybe I should just get a new computer. Well, imagine if there was a button you could push and it would just, the computer would just start crying and imagine that that crying just released all of the things that are gunking up the system. Well, that's what our body is, it, that's what crying is. It's just, re, it's just releasing energy that no longer serve, that serves us. Releasing blocked energy in the body. <laughs> and if that word energy weirds you out at all, just know everything is energy. Science tells us, you know, look at string theory. Everything is energy just vibrating at different frequencies. Everything. <laughs> this rock that I'm on, you know, my body, me, my emotions. You know, people say emotions, energy in motion. So what I'm here to tell you is that everything's going to be okay. And you can transfer that from me to you and start telling yourself that when stress comes up. But don't use it to bypass the emotions. Don't use it to say everything's going to be okay and skip the feeling. Say everything's going to be okay and feel the feelings. Okay, and you will start to birth new life. Like this little tree up here. Check this out. Through this rock at the top of this mountain. That little tree found its way up to the top. Somehow. And you can do it too. And I'm here to support you in any way that you need. <laughs> I love you. Have a great day.